Hello students, welcome once again to my channel and welcome to this physics session. Um, if this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a video, you'll be the first to get it. So today we are looking at um, a question on physics and basically we are looking at um, kinematics, the motion of an object or a particle. So we have a question over here which says that a car moving with a velocity of 54 km accelerates uniformly at a rate of 2 m per second squared. So we have, um, let's do a little sketch just to represent this. So we have um, a car. So let's say we have um, a car of this sort going for the way we have the, that, um, yeah. So let's say, let's take it for example, we have this car and the car is moving. So it is moving with um, an initial velocity, an initial velocity of 54 km per hour. An initial velocity, so let's take it for example, this is the road moving with an initial velocity of 54 km per hour. And it accelerates uniformly at a rate of 2 m per second squared. So it's just... Um, Accelerate. So let's say our A being acceleration, being this. Then we're saying that we should, question says we should calculate the distance travel from the place where acceleration began to that where the velocity reaches 72 km per. So it may it started with an initial velocity of 54 km per hour and a final velocity V of 72 km per hour. So we are to calculate the distance from the place where the acceleration began so the distance from the place where the acceleration began that's what we are supposed to do so we have all our permit parameters available now we know that for motion the three laws of motion has three equations so we have the first equation being v equal to u plus at and we have um v squared equal to u squared plus 2as and we have um, the third one being s being equal to s plus half half at squared we, we know this motion formulas so we are going to use these formulas just to calculate um, what we are supposed to do so we have all our parameters available our initial velocity of 54 kilometer per hour our acceleration as 2 meter per second and our final velocity of 72 km per hour but before we calculate the distance from the place where the acceleration began we still have to look at our units now we know acceleration is in meter per second squared and our initial velocity and our final velocity are in kilometer per hour kilometer per hour so we, we need to change the unit to meter per seconds so to do that um we do it this way now we know that one kilometer one kilometer is equal to um one kilometer is equal to thousand meters and also one hour is equal to three thousand six hundred seconds so we have this now with this we are going to use to um change our unit from kilometer per hour to meter per second so now from here we have 54 kilometer per hour so for that well, it, it will be multiplied by the thousand meters because at the end of the day what we are trying to we, are, we want to get our answer in meter and seconds so meter has to be at the top there then multiplied by one hour all over now if I want to get rid of the kilometer so I'll bring kilometer down here then I multiply it by 3,600 3, seconds yeah, so you can see that kilometer will cancel kilometer here um per hour we have hour cancel per hour now what is left is meter per seconds so we quickly multiply them and divide so when we multiply them out we have um okay we can cancel this out this will get rid of that and also um so at the end of the day we are getting um 540 meters over 36 seconds now 540 meters over 36 seconds is basically 15 meter per second 15 meter per second so we have this as so 
this is what we have for our initial velocity because 36 goes in 271 and goes here 15 times so we have 15 meter per second for our initial velocity so we quickly calculate our final velocity so our final velocity can um, also be that we have our final velocity as 72 kilometer kilometer then per hour so we have um, 72 kilometer per hour then we divide by one kilometer we want to get rid of the kilometers then multiply by thousand meters then divide here by 3600 seconds times one so times one hour so hour cancel per hour kilometer gets rid of kilometer then we have from um, meter and second so you know zero they cancel out then i'm left with 720b divided by 36 now remember your unit meter and seconds so at the end of the day so 36 cancel itself one and goes here 20 times so you know i have 20 meter per seconds so now i have my um, initial velocity and final velocity in their right unit so we quickly solve the question now now is said we should calculate the distance traveled from the place where the acceleration began to where the velocity reaches now we have been given final velocity initial velocity and acceleration now we have to look at the three equations over here we have to calculate the distance now over here x represent distance S here represent distance, S here represent distance. So we have to look at the parameters available so that we can use the right formula for that. Now, if you look at the uh, first equation over here, we have final velocity, initial velocity, we have acceleration, and we don't know time. And moreover, we are calculating for distance. So we can't use the first equation. Now, in the second equation, we have final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and we have distance. So basically, the second equation will work. Now, in the, in the third equation, we have time there we don't know time so we can't use the third equation also so the best equation to use is the second equation so we have um so from from um from the motion equation so from the motion equation we can have that um we have um, v squared b equal to u squared plus 2 a s we are calculating from for the distance so we have to make x the subject so making as the subject this u squared has to go to the other side so we have v squared it is positive and it's got it's become negative it being equal to 2 a s then in order for us to find x over here we divide both sides by 2 a we divide here by 2 a so that our x here will be um v squared minus u squared all over 2 a so we have um, our v squared which is our final velocity as 20 squared minus our initial velocity 15 squared divided by uh, 2 multiplied by 2 over here then we have um so we have 20 squared minus 20 squared is um so we have 20 squared being 400 minus 15 squared being um one is two two five being divided by four so we have um 400 minus two two five one seven five divided by four and at the end of the day we have um 43.75 meters yes we have our answer in meters so you know so therefore we can say that the distance therefore we say that the distance therefore the distance traveled is 43.75 meters as our distance so we have our distance being calculated now now we quickly move on to the second question now the second question says that we should um after we find the place where acceleration began to where the velocity reaches and the time taken to cover this distance so we have to calculate the time taken to cover this distance so calculating the time 
taken to cover distance we know uh, so calculating that we know using third you can use the third motion equation equation so we look at these equations over here now we can use the third one but it will be some way so let's use the first one so let's use the first one let's use the first one the first motion equation so we have v equal to v plus a t and we are calculating the time so we are, we are to make t the subject so making t the subject then we can have our um t being equal to to be u my v minus u all over acceleration and we know um, our final velocity as um, 20 our initial velocity as 15 and our acceleration as 2 so you know, we have um, 5 being divided by 2 which is basically 2.5 and our answer will be in seconds to be in seconds so um, we can have this so therefore the time taken so the time taken to cover the distance to cover the distance is 2.5 seconds so thank you very much for joining me in this section we will meet for another section and please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if this is the first time okay so see you in another section